The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Two things the Lord directed the Jews in exile in Babylon to do. Now you that for a took off for no war, baby, and went to a cotton and you are and so you know, you know, number one, they were to settle down. You did kind or you said one tina baby or one because the exile was going to be long. Can't say no better now, watch a year. They will then have to increase and not to decrease. And no more, no one knows, no mama won't sir, even in the land of their captivity. Tempo ever and an afford as I say so. Now. This evening, I will dwell on the second thing that he told them to do. Jeremiah 29, from verse 4. Yeah. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into Ezra from Jerusalem to Babylon. Say na asafwe rade Israel ni angopo on ekanche etuko fwa me ma wotu one free Jerusalem eko Babel nuni na. Now build houses. Munsi si adain and settle down. Munti na tinem plant gardens. Munya entro and eat what they produce. Na muni muaba. Now verse six. Insiano. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Even in the land of their captivity, say, Increase in number there. Do not decrease. So this evening I will dwell on the second part, which is in verse 7. It begins with the word also. Seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Now, more if you feel crammy, ma, we too muko muno ye de na mumo a radi empire emano, nani ye de mu and a mobedi ye. So, the second thing they ought to do was to seek the peace and prosperity of Babylon. And the idea to assume you know, and so why and I say, what you share Babel, ni ye de and in a sum ye. Why should they seek the peace and prosperity of Babylon, the land of their captivity? Why? I didn't think that Omaya would want to come away young Kwawumu, a Babel, no, what you share, and a sum ye, and in ye de. Now the answer is simple. In why no, it is. If Babylon prospers, they too will prosper. So my no de ye, I want to obey the ye. In Babylon's peace, they will have peace. The Babel, nya sum ye, a mu, and will be nya one sum ye. Now, pray for the nation in which you are living. Because if the nation prospers, you too will prosper. If there is peace in the nation, you too you have peace. You see, why do we have to be concerned about the nation we dwell in? I don't know. I don't think I said to my you must say if I am. See, we are persons in community. We are individuals though, but we are in community. We are therefore shaped in many ways by our environment. Now we are shaped in many ways by the environment we find ourselves in. So when there are corrupt social structures, it will be difficult for all of us. So, my, your timuno, no matter where you are, no prayer, as no ma, a bayer, dear, my, you know.
when there are corrupt social structures, we will all have difficulty in trying to even do what is right. So my name is my kuwa hudu ano se prayasho mama ebe ya dia my impose ye mubiara betu mi aye aditrene. So we cannot be unconcerned about what goes on in the society. Yen tu min tino my name wa emun sam enfaye hon. No, we cannot. There be. See, mere independence, brothers and sisters, from colonial rule does not solve our problems. Now, we need to work together to seek the good of the land. The peace and prosperity of nations. Because if the nation prospers, you too will prosper. But listen, brothers and sisters, God created us and blessed us and made us managers of his earth. Now Genesis 2 verse 15. Genesis okay. 2 verse 15. Okay, can I Homa I want us to read this particular verse. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Na eurodi nyango pon de oni pano kotina edin chuo ni muse onno na onye ho. Now so God has made us managers of His earth. Tu asasi o nyami di amai nse yenfeso. Every human being is a manager. Or you be a oshe jumas. And God in Second Peter. 1 verse 3 the bible says that he has also made available all that we need for life and even for godliness okay can petro whom edi kind o nyankopon o di nyen hia yen nyina e beboye ma ya somo no nyame ye ya bobra papa no e di adom ye god has given us everything we need for life o di ni nyina e hia ma enkwa and every day he presents us with a day fresh day light sunlight sunshine rains air whatever but if we don't manage it well then we can't blame god or the adomi and papa or ton so any brim or boy we are any brim or my and from my young home or my in your being here in an answer and to two women in a young to me a mutual young couple on my end so whether we enjoy god's providence or not Depends on how we are managing his resources. And this he has freely given us. When we don't manage the resources that God has given us well, we corrupt it and eventually we lose it. Now to corrupt is to spoil. That's all. When we say corruption, corruption is just things spoiling. And eventually we will lose it. See brothers and sisters, corruption is human activity. And so we all need to come on board and help as human beings to create environments in our spheres of oppression that will be hostile to corruption. Now listen. We need, especially as believers, to create environments in our spheres of oppression that will be hostile to corruption. Now, I mean corruption of all sorts. Bribery. Over invoicing and under invoice. I'm talking about corruption of our water bodies. Air pollution is also corruption. 
Deforestation is also corruption. Illegal mining is also corruption. Illegal connection of electricity is also corruption. Now, favoritism and nepotism is also corruption. Over speeding and overloading is also corruption. Corruption of our beaches is also corruption. So corruption is not only exchange of money. Corruption is as a result of mismanagement. Arising from Two problems. One, incompetence. Two, greed. Excessive desire for money and possession. They result in number one. Poverty. Lack of development. Disease. Premature death. See, when I was growing up, two times I went to the hospital and twice I came home without seeing a doctor. Because People who had names were just jumping the queue. And I was so sick. I just couldn't stand even sitting and waiting. And so I had to advise myself, yeah, just go home and buy some paracetamol and see what God can do. Sense. Two times I left. So people go to the premature grave in environments where there's corruption just because they cannot even afford uh, money is even to go to hospital and sometimes the doctor's prescription they don't have the money to buy the drugs so they die before their time and doctor I was listening to this talk and this fellow was saying that there are certain people even the whole year they will not even go for checkup. Some people they don't even have food to eat. How would they think of checkup? Who is going to pay for the checkup? Sometimes. <laughs> And that's a hopelessness. Hopelessness. Now people throw their hands in despair. Young people join the queue of prostitution out of hopelessness. Young people pack and leave because of unemployment. Corruption is a social danger. It facilitates environmental degradation. See, corruption destroys nations. It destroys the future. It undermines honesty and hard work. Now, it, doesn't, it, it makes it unnecessary. Because you are trying to be honest. Meanwhile, those who are corrupt are buying the vehicles and they are building the house. It makes honesty and hard work 
unnecessary. And so omo a e bo bra bo ni proye ni katase che no no wa bra bo e ko so nti e mo no kredi ekrampo en se nkuran. Corruption favors the privileged few. Na mpimpi no katase che ani proye wo hoy e bo ni pe ko kitu e bi. Na and you cannot say you don't mind. Na won tumi nka se we and fa ho. We as Christians need to seek the peace and prosperity of our nation. We need to try to find or discover by searching or questioning to seek the solution to these problems that is bedeviling our nations. And preventing our countries from prospering. We need to move away from these that corrupt nation. And rather pray that God will raise for us a new Ghanaian. A people who will seek the peace and prosperity of the land. The solution of our challenges is not in anything, but it is in a, a new Ghanaian. A Ghanaian who will love the peace and prosperity of Ghana. Why am I saying this? Because the keys to a nation's prosperity or development lies in the character of its people. And But unfortunately, sometimes leaders, especially our politicians, focus on roads. Now, industries. Strong economy. Now, scientific breakthrough. Now, I'm not saying that these things are unimportant. But you see, in the heart of all these is the human being. The nature of the citizenry. Now, their character. The, their values, their commitment, yeah, the competence they bring on board will determine whether we will get to our Kena or not. No nation can rush into development with a people who are living with conflicting values and living for themselves. Few will prosper. But not many of us. There is a need for some commonality in values, in dreams for the people of the land to work effectively towards a new future. Because God also has plans for Ghana. Plans to bless us and not to harm us. But the citizenry should cooperate with God. It is my prayer that we shall seek the peace and prosperity of the land. That we work to address the kind of Ghanaian we want to become in future. It is for this reason that the church will arise to possess the nation, to transform the world. Because we can do it. Why? We are the salt of the air, the salt to heal the corruption of the land. We are the light of the world. The light to show the way we can if we want to let us brave the storm and then let us lift righteousness up for righteousness is a nation and sin is a reproach to every land the church remains god's hope 
for the transformation of nations. Let us seek the prosperity of our nation. Because if the nation prospers, we too would prosper. If it has peace, we shall also have peace. Let me just give this advice. Apart from the fact that we are determined to bring transformation on the land. Any day that we go to church, let us lift our various nations before God. Because forces also want to govern nations. Let us pray daily for our nation. Because Jeremiah says that, also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. And the, the Bible says, pray to the Lord for it. So we also ought to pray to the Lord for our nation. God knows why he says, pray to me for your nation. And brothers and sisters, if this nation prospers, if your nation prospers, you too will prosper. May the Lord help us so that we move away from all forms of corruption. Let us seek the prosperity of the land and the peace of our nation. May the Lord bless Ghana. May peace be upon this land. May the Lord bless Ghana. May the Lord bless Ghana. May the Lord bless Ghana. In 2020, we lost eight lives to the election. Why should eight Ghanaians die to elect a president? This year is election year. Young men. Please be careful of your life. Be careful of your life. And we pray that we will not lose any life. And may the election be peaceful. And may the one that the Lord has chosen win the election. May God grant us a better Ghana. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.